Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm shaking. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross start you Ladies and gentlemen, you can feel the anticipation. This is when Ali first met Fraser. Mm. This is that, Heather B. Okay. When Mike Tyson first uh, le met Lennox. This mm. is that. This is that, Heather B. This may be bigger than Mayweather Pacquiao. This mm. is that, Heather B. Damn. Bigger? Bigger than Mayweather Pacquiao is Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor Saturday, August 26th this year at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the CEO of Mayweather Promotions with us right now, the best dressed man in boxing. The one and only Leonard Ellerby is here. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Sway. Come on, man. I was telling the citizens that I had to call you. It was just a few unanswered questions that we got to put out in the universe. And I was like, look, I know I can't get Floyd. He's running right now. Right. He's putting in time. He's training. The training must be grueling for him. He's been off for a couple of years. He's a little older now. How has the training been for him? Well, it, it, it's been a big adjustment, you know, because he has been off for almost two years. So, you know, he, he's getting where he needs to get, get to. And he'll oh. be there August 26th. But is it safe to say he's not there yet? It's safe to say. Yeah. Safe to say. Ha, have you, you've been with Floyd majority of his career, right? His whole career. His 21 whole career. Years. 21 years. Wow. Um, and even prior to that, you knew the family and everything. Yeah. Leonard has a boxing pass, too, mm -hmm. as you all may know. You know, and, and what you you became a trainer, but you were boxing. Up, you hurt your hands or what? Yeah, yeah. I, I was a former amateur fighter. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then just hitting, punching wrong, being an amateur, not knowing what you were doing or? Hand problems at the most inopportune times, you know. Okay. And then you, just to give a little history of how you and Floyd got together, what was the first point of um, connection between you guys? Well, I actually met him when he was probably about 13. Yeah, he was probably about 13. Uh -huh. He used to come to Vegas. And um, I was very, very close with Roger and Jeff Mayweather. And um, he was just a little young kid running a while, uh -huh. you know, hanging out in Vegas. You know, for the summer. Mm -hmm. That's how we met when he was probably like 13 About years 13. old. Mm -hmm. When did he start understanding the business of boxing and you guys decided to make that, go in that direction, be autonomous and Mayweather promotions? Wait, why are we giving away all our power and our money to these other promoters, these other entities? What point, what, 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 was it something that happened, like a little check? Did, did y'all feel shortchanged or something? What happened? Well, actually, early on, he's, he's always had a great vision. Um, early on in his career, um, you know, but a lot of oftentimes when you're young, you know, you go through different things and it, it, it takes uh, different experiences, to, you know, for you to go to go through to overcome them. Mm -hmm. And as he, as he probably was getting a little older, you know, we always to have good conversations about, you know, um, long-term vision. And um, it's probably when he was in his early twenties. When it's in his early twenties. And, mm -hmm. and now they say that, you know, Mayweather Promotions, LLC, has generated anywhere. I, I know he's never going to get an exact number. Uh, anywhere between $1.3 somewhere along that area. Quite a bit. Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all put, do, do, do y'all, do you ever put, like, stacks of cash together and use it as a phone? Do you no, go, no. You don't I, do don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> I was thinking that, I'm just I played it back. You're back. <laughs> you, you don't do that, right? No, I played it back. Why um, is it strictly for the money at this point to do this fight with McGregor? So he's a businessman. Yeah. You, you know, um, he's he's a genius. You know, this fight, he'll he'll go over a billion dollars in earnings in his career. Um it's, it's it's amazing, you know, how he's taken boxing to that next level and just basically put it on his back single handedly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now everyone's talking about boxing again, you know, and it's just exciting for the sport. What, and, and, and so will this be his last fight? He told me that last time we spoke at the Barclays. This, no matter what, is the last fight. Yes, this is definitely his last fight. Mm. 
does he take this guy seriously? Like, I know you're promoting and everybody's doing a song and dance, but come on, man. McGregor in a boxing ring against Floyd. How is he going to do with Pacquiao, De La Hoya, Corrales? How is he going to do what all these great fighters weren't able to do? Well, I hope he don't get it done. <laughs> but um, you just you can never take any fighter uh, for granted, as we saw just recently what happened to Manny Pacquiao. And I think that's what it came down to, that he took him lightly. And, and you know, anytime when you're young and hungry, you have nothing to lose. Uh -huh. So, you know, everyone's always at their best when they're fighting the best. They're always at their best when they're fighting the best. I had a chance to um, go to the Barclays Center. Rosie Perez and I actually got up on stage, started hyping up the crowd. I was one of maybe five people in that crowd that was saying hard work, you know, <laughs> dedication. Yeah. And I did it amongst a lot of boos. Man, I put myself on the line for the Mayweather camp, Leonard. I don't know if you know this, man. Oh, was, you was definitely rapping. I was so in you danger. you kept saying hard work and, and they just kept going booing. They kept booing. The more they booed, I stepped out further on the stage and <laughs> just kept saying it. I, I, you saw my, yeah. that's what I did. I stepped yeah. out on the stage because I truly, I'm a McGregor fan. If we're in the octagon, you know, Got I'm it. a Floyd fan if we're anywhere else, you know, plus I'm just a Floyd fan. Yeah. But the antics on stage have gotten to the point of disrespect. I saw McGregor try to knock the hat off of Floyd's head, comment to his daughter, comment to his daughter's mother. Is that a part of the script or has it really gotten to bad blood? Um. They're kind of saying, you know, that he's he's racist, but he's not racist. He's not racist. He's he's just um, he's very good at what he does. I yeah, mean, I mean, he's um, he's a very very good entertainer, and um, he's um, captured the imagination of a lot of fans, and and you know that's kind of where we at. Floyd said to me that he believes it's a double standard. You know, when he flashes his riches and talks about his cars and throw money around and wear big gold chains and fur coats, you know, they put them down. They say, you know, it's buffoonery. Look at him, man. What has no substance? What kind of example is he setting for the youth, for the mm. kids? And then Conor McGregor is doing the exact or uh, similar antics and he's being put on a pedestal. He's being praised for doing the exact same thing. You don't think there's no race issue in between that or why that is? Well, we're in 2017, and we all know what it is. Okay. You, you know what I'm what saying? What do you think it is? It, there is a double standard, mm -hmm. but it's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we you can't worry about things that you can't control. You just have to. In this particular case, we're talking about a fight. And um, two guys are going out there promoting the event and um, – you know, the reality, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, there there's a certain segment of our society that feels a certain kind of way towards a certain segment of our society. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we have to continue to make positive changes and, and get to, you know, where things can get right. Yeah. How, but we're not there yet. You're not there yet. What what do you guys do when, like, Florida get a lot of backlash from whether things that happen out of the ring, whether it's, you know, uh, him and T.I. Uh, fighting over a, a woman or what, what What? What? he's been charged with domestically, you know, in terms of abuse. And how do y'all regroup when these things happen? Do y'all sit and talk about, you know, how do we change the, 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 the image that it seems to be in the public eye? Like, this ain't me, you know. Do y'all talk about that? Well, oftentimes things get blown out of proportion. There, You know, there have been several instances, you know, throughout his career that, Things didn't actually go down the way that uh, it appeared. And, and, you know, you just find ways to um, continue to be strong. And, and that's why we have a very, very close-knit team and, you know, um, continue to have the faith in God. And, and, and so you can overcome things. What, what, can you give me an example of what didn't go down the way it appeared? Oh, it's been quite a bit. It's been it's been quite a bit of stuff that didn't actually you know, go down the way it appeared. and But that's just, you know, that's just the nature of the business, sports and entertainment. You know, anytime you're uh, an icon, you have the big target on your back and, and people going to come at you in all different all different ways. You just have to, you know, keep your keep your team nice and tight and, and continue to have the faith. Leonard Ellaby is here, uh, Floyd Mayweather's partner. Speaking of sports and entertainment, there's like a club, like a, you know, you think of Oprah and you think of 
Jay Z and Beyonce and and maybe LeBron one day to be like billionaires of color. Now Floyd is in that conversation easily. We all grew up in a generation where your parents are just like, get a job and stay out of trouble and don't sell crack. You know, do you ever <laughs> like just pinch yourself and like, oh my gosh, like I'm I, I'm I'm here, like I I made it. It, it, it. Do you ever just do that? Yeah, and actually that's a that's a great question. Um. You know, a lot of oftentimes, you know, you just so get caught up in what you're doing. And mm. I have a little girl. She's uh, eight years old. And, you know, she keeps me grounded, you know, because she really don't have an understanding of kind of what I do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just recently, um, you know, with all the the um, hoopla with the, yeah. um, the, press, the press tour. The press and, run, and, yeah. and she was just, you know, she was just uh, saying to me just how proud she was of me and, you know, that she went, she was in camp and she was talking and, and, you know, and then it just, sometimes it just made you just stop and just think, wow, you know, because you just get caught up in doing the things that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Yeah. I'm all over the place traveling, you know, we got all, all these events. Our, our, our company is doing major, major things and, you know, we're uh, top tier promotional company now. I have a tremendous team, and you know Floyd being the face of this thing, and mm -hmm. we, we're just trying to uh, continue to create opportunities for for people of all color, and um, just continue to take sports and entertainment to the next level. Congratulations, though. Congrats. Thank you. Going in the same vein as Heather, it made me start thinking about Jay Z's album Four 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 because he's obviously in the conversation with um, billionaires of color, and he was able to give some advice on financial literacy. So, since you guys deal with um, money, is there any like immediate advice you can give someone who maybe just scored their first six-figure job or pitfalls to avoid? Surround yourself with a great team. That's so important. You know, oftentimes um, you see the young athletes, um, and it's it's about the education part of it, you know, uh, surrounding yourself with a positive team that people who have been through different experiences, and you learn from them, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's what we, we were able to do. Um, we sat back in the cut and we watched – how other promoters were doing things, and then we were like, "We can do this ourselves." Mm -hmm. You know, why not? You, you know, um, you got to you if you, if you have the fear that you can't fail, how can you make any positive gains? And that's always been our approach with the hard work and dedication, and, and we're never gonna give up. Wow, Mike, okay. buzzword that everyone is either talking about or looking to get into. I look at you and Floyd as being like this dynamic duel of entrepreneurship. In particular, as entrepreneurs are thinking about should they intersect something, they're not just focused on one singular thing. I'm just curious about the conversation that take place between you and Floyd in terms of how do you do the business? Is he a athlete first? Is he a boxer first? Or is he an entertainer? Like how do you guys think through the decision points for branding and marketing for new opportunities? Well, he he's a he's a father first. That, that's always his his first thing he says. I'm a father first, mm -hmm. then I'm a businessman, and then I'm the athlete. And in, in that huh. particular order, mm -hmm. and huh. that's been his approach. He he always, you, you know, he he's always thought big picture. He's he's had a tremendous vision, again since he was in his early twenties. You know, mm -hmm. he was he wanted to he had this vision where this whole idea of just being his own boss. You know, mm -hmm. and, and um, and I'm very thankful and blessed that we, you know, we we've had a great opportunity. We have a great team working with Al Heyman, um, and Showtime. Mm -hmm. You know, we've just been able to take sports and entertainment to the next level. Al Heyman, this may be one of the most mysterious people in unboxing, Heather B. Mm -hmm. I couldn't mm -hmm. point him out if he was standing in this oh, room. Absolutely not. <laughs> and couldn't. we've been hearing his name since like the Budweiser Fest. Like, yeah, what? back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Al Heyman. Like, right. Al Heyman? He used to do work in the Bay too. He really? Was, yeah, yeah. Cause he, the Al Heyman. Al Heyman. Leonard, who is Al Heyman, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. Yeah, that's my partner. Okay. You, you know, um, we've, I've, I've. He's taken me under his wing, and and um. We've done some big things. Yeah, but he's a promote. What, what would you what would you classify him as? Like for those for the public who don't know what his role is in boxing. Genius. Genius. <laughs> That's it's only one. Only only, only one it. word to to you know uh -huh. to go hand in hand. He's he's a genius. Is it his decision to kind of stay in the shadows? Yeah, and 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 
and that, that's a good thing. That's that's a good thing because you know I think a lot of like that. Yeah. You know I don't want to be out front. Mm-hmm. You know, but someone has to do you know do the business. Mm-hmm. You know the the focus should be on the athlete and entertainer, not everyone else. And everyone else wants the spotlight. I don't care nothing about that. Yeah. I just want to execute and get the job done. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hamid. Now you guys have also partnered up with Golden Boy Promotions too to do. Fights, right? Or how did how was way you back in the day? Way back in the day, yeah, it's been yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. But yeah. y'all don't really mess with them no more. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a direct answer, Sway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, the, the Floyd and uh, Oscar, really don't click. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right, cool, man. Uh, Leonard Ella Beers, so I'm gonna open up the phone lines. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. You want to talk to him? The big fight. August 26th, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. He's putting his undefeated record on the line. If he loses in that boxing ring. He's still not going to come back? There's no such thing as losing. This is it. Okay. It's all on the line now. Call us. Sway in the morning, Shay 45. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.